Hey guys, this is my second, excuse me, third video. Um, I want to do something, some quirky, I guess is the word. I'm in my closet. Like, seriously, like, look. This is my closet. This is how big it is. It's the size of me. Um, this is going to be my coming out video. It took me four years. Yeah, four years, I know, right? What? Four years. Um, and six times to do it. To actually come out to my parents. Um, I am 20 years old and I still think I don't even know. I don't know. This is getting strange. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was interesting. I remember the very first time I actually thought about me being gay was when I was in... I don't even remember. Like, ninth grade, I think. I don't know. It was, because I remember it was the very first time I ever... The last time I did it, a girl... Um, it, was, it was in ninth grade, I, I think. I don't remember. But anyway, the very first time I ever came out to someone was my, old, my first oldest sister. Her name is Samantha. She um, caught some unmentionables, I guess you can call it, on my computer. So... That's how I came out to her. Yay. Um, and then it was my brother, and then my mom and my dad. Um, my mom and my dad took the longest because they are so religious and so stubborn. They didn't believe me. And I was afraid that they would disown me and kick me out and all that nonsense. But luckily they, they didn't. Um, they don't approve of it. But I don't know if they disapprove of it because we don't talk about it. It's one of the things we, you know, don't talk about. You know, don't know, no. Um, so, so we don't talk about it. Uh, it's not like it's that big of a deal. No one's gonna meet my parents. I don't much care if anyone meets my parents. So, I mean, if they, if you guys meet them, it's like if a, a future boyfriend meets them, fine, woo. But other than that, I don't really care. It's not. It's not a big, huge deal. Um, sorry, I'm trying to feel really claustrophobic. Um, but yeah, this is going to be like my my little miniaturized coming out story. I'm not going to give you the whole in-depth version because that would be like way too long. I know my last video was like 14 minutes long. It was kind of funny. I, I noticed it the other day. It was like, <clears throat> it went from 3 to 14. So I'm going to try and cut that back to six, seven minutes, somewhere around there, maybe less. Um, but so far I've had a good, a good time, you know, not too bad, not too, not, not too good, but not too bad. Um, like I said, the first time, the very first person I ever came up to was my sister. She was, um... She was accepting. We, it was 12 o'clock in the morning, and like I said, she found some inappropriate things on my computer, and so she, so she talked to me about it, and you know, she was like, I don't care. It's not that big of a deal. Um, <clears throat> my brother found out about two weeks later. Um, he... He, sorry, I'm listening to my mom. Um, <laughs> we're like right next to each other. Like here I am, and my mom right there in her room. <clears throat> but he is um, he he didn't mind either. He doesn't mind. I don't know if he cares or not. But um, and then my other sister, she found out a year later. I want to say, a year later. And then I tried to tell my parents once. I tried to tell them over a note, and it didn't work because they didn't find the note. Um, I, I threw it in the floor, and it was before school. I wrote it all down, and I threw it in my dad's office floor. To my dad, how it was when, we, when I first sort of came out. We lived in a trailer, and it was our living room, my dad's office, and then his bedroom. 
well, I threw it in there because he has to get from his bedroom to the outside, obviously. So, I did all that. And it was, um, it was interesting. This is... It was interesting. I apologize. I was... I, my camera doesn't, doesn't, doesn't tell me that it's recording until I, like, have to look at the screen. And it doesn't flip out like most cameras do. So, um, yeah, that didn't work out. So I went to my teacher, or not my teacher, my guidance counselor at school, because I was in, I was, I was in 10th, 10th grade at that time. And, um, she was like, well, there is a, there's a place in, uh, East Lansing <clears throat> that has really great program and, and all this stuff, and it's really good, and I was like, okay, well, this is not, okay, sure. Well, I didn't have a ride, because I didn't have a car, so I didn't go, because I made the appointment, and I made the meeting and everything, and I didn't go. It was over the summer. I went, instead of going there and getting help with my issue, I went to Georgia with my overly religious sister with her kid and her husband. So, yeah, that, you know, overly religious and then getting help with my issue. Yeah, I, I, I kind of went with the one that was going to be more fun anyways instead of the one that would actually help me better. But, <clears throat> um, so yeah, that one, it flew, fuck those two. Um, and then the third time, I told them over Facebook, I know, I have really bad ideas, really bad ideas, oh my god, um, and I told them, I told them over Facebook, and, or no, I po excuse me, I posted on Facebook, and, um, my mom, you know, flipped out, and she's like, why did you post this on Facebook, blah, 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 you know, like a mother, I guess, is supposed to do, so, she, she complained and, and moaned and cried, and I didn't really much care because I'm a jerk, I guess. Um, but, so, she was kind of, she, she knew. She's not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. She knew. She's not stupid. My dad, on the other hand, well, my dad's not stupid. He is, um, interesting, let's put it that way. He didn't, I, I didn't know if he knew, because like I said, we don't talk about it. Like, to this day, I don't know if he knows. Because he keeps asking me, so Zach, when are you going to get a girlfriend? Well, Dad, never. So, um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's not bad. I mean... It's bad, but it's not like, oh my god, life-threatening, but it's not good either, so, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not good. Not good. I think I'm a bad person. I don't know. Um, god, I feel I'm getting sympathy for me, people. Um, and I don't want that. I don't want sympathy. I like my life the way it is. It's fun. Great people. Great friends. Good job. So, I'm moderately satisfied. Um, yep, I dated... <laughs> within the s four years that I was coming out, I dated six people. And each person was only for two weeks. Two weeks. I know. I, I, I'm still that way. I still only have two weeks. So I'm, I'm bad at that. But, other than that, I mean, you know, I had a relatively good, good life, good, um, good, good time, so, yeah, I think, I think that's it. If you want to like, comment, and subscribe, I will always read your comments, and I will love your likes, obviously, because... I feel bad about myself, so when you, it lifts me up, hello, you like, means you like me. Um, so, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, issues, always comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.